This is the most common question that I keep getting often, and is one of the most discussed topic. So, I thought I'd write a long and detailed post explaining the how. One of the core ideas of Neville Goddard's teachings is that consciousness is the one and only reality. This post will simplify that concept and explain how to apply it practically to your SP situation. For the people who are manifesting their SP back, Step 1. Take a sheet of paper and write down everything that comes to your mind when I ask you to explain your present situation. Relationship with your SP. B. How would you describe your SP? C. How would you describe? C. Yourself. D. Explain the role he. She plays in the relationship and your role in it. Be honest with yourself and don't take too long to answer them. Step 2. Now read your answers. This is what you are conscious of being. A combination of all these beliefs is what you are presently aware of. In other words, what you are actually manifesting. This is important for you to know. How many of your thoughts that you wrote reflect that of a person who is living in the ideal relationship with their partner? And how many doesn't match? Tally them both and you'll know who are conscious of being. If most of your thoughts are in line with the ideal, desired reality, then it's all good. But if it's not, what do you do? Step 3. Discard all thoughts that doesn't serve you and increase the thoughts of being the person living the desired reality. What do I mean by this? Let's get a little creative. Assume now that you are in a sci-fi movie and I give you a pair of futuristic glasses through which you can see different reality. Now, you are going to see the world through the lens. Eyes of the person who is actually living the desired reality. Let's say, you even downloaded their mindset, their perspective into your head. If I ask you what are the things you admire about your SP, about yourself, what would you answer? Why do you love your SP? How does your partner show, express his, her affection? How is your relationship now? Answer all these from the new mindset you acquired. Write them down. We'll use this later on. Step 4. Consciously construct a short scene which implies that you're in your ideal reality based on everything you wrote down in the above step. Just before sleep, imagine going to bed with these glasses on the new mindset. Play the short scene in your mind's eye. This time, live in it, think from it and feel it. When you have felt the sense of accomplishment or sense of relief, or gratitude let go and drop off to sleep. Notes, it's important that the new mindset Feelings should fill your consciousness before you drop off to sleep. Step 5. During daytime when you have doubts, put the glasses on again. Meaning, take out the sheet of paper you wrote in step 3. Read it, feel it, let go and know that's who you are. Remember, you downloaded that mindset in your head already. It's a part of you. It is you. Keep activating it each time you feel you're out of it. For those of you who are manifesting an SP whom you've never been with, the steps are essentially the same. Just know your present state of awareness. Are you conscious of being the person who's craving your SP or the person living with your SP? Find that out before proceeding. Everything is the same from step 3. For the people who are bad at imagining stuff, who have a fantasia. Everything I wrote above, the sci-fi stuff, glasses and all that is only to make you understand. If you get the gist of it, just know that dropping off to sleep with your consciousness filled with the new mindset, feeling is all you need to do. Instead of constructing a scene in your head, Write the ideal scene on paper as if you're the script writer of a movie. Condense the whole scene into a single affirmation. Like, I'm blessed to be in such a loving relationship or thank you for granting my desire. Personalize it in a way that it should imply that it is done. Go to bed repeating this affirmation, feeling it and drop off to sleep. It's feelings that's important. Notes, for all the new people who still haven't developed faith yet, it is perfectly fine. You don't have to believe it. Just follow the essential steps. It's a law. It'll work no matter what. Do not imagine for the sake of manifesting it in 3D. Do not see this as a technique. This mentality will make you conscious, and you'll always be thinking if you did it right or not. Do it because it's fun, because it makes you feel ecstatic, because you're enjoying it now, because now is the only time that exists. Your job is to achieve this state of being. The rest will be taken care automatically. For the skeptics, even if you feel all this is complete BS, you are still going to bed with pleasant feelings which will lead to a good night's sleep. So, why not try it? You're not losing anything. I know this was long but I hope it was clear and helpful.